All right, so we're back again. Um, we just got finished with that purple flake candy front fender yesterday. Um, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more. Um, I have a lot of clear coat on that, so I'm gonna let that thing dry a little bit more before we cut and buff that thing. But um, here I have this fender that I had cleared um, yesterday. And um, so I did the black and then I did the clear. And then I had some particles that fell into the clear because obviously I'm in the shop and that shit's gonna happen. So then um, I ended up having to wet sand it with some thousand grit. And then I uh, re-cleared it with three more coats. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there still is some particles that are still in there. Um, so I'm gonna cut and buff it, starting with thousand grit wet sandpaper. Um, try to get these down. Um, let's see how that works. So now after I did a little bit of the wet sand with a thousand grit, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it's looking like. So you can see there's still the high spots, some orange peel, um, obviously like right here, there's some particles that got in the clear coat. So um, I have enough clear coat on here now that um, I can sand all that down, get down to it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going and I'll show you guys the progress as I keep going. keep wiping it down after I sand for a little while because I want to see where is good and where is not where the orange peel still is or where the particles are still stuck in that clear coat I don't want to sand too much in one area so that's what I would suggest you guys doing so you guys don't get through the clear coat all right so now I'm done doing this thousand grit sandpaper I know there's still a little bit of imperfections but um, after I get through going all the way down to the 3000 grit sandpaper and then cutting and buffing with um, the DA, these will come out. So um, I'm good with this. Now I usually would use 1500 grit and then 2000 grit and then um, go all the way down to 3000 grit um, just, just to step out. But um, I noticed I don't have any of that. All I have is 3,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand the hell out of it with 3,000, um, just like get the deeper scratches out so that when I go ahead and use my DA, um, the scratches won't show, um, which I'll show you what they look like if you sand, if you can see this, when you can see the sand marks in um, the paint, I'll show you guys all that too. Now we're down to the, this is after the 3000 grit. Um, looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna use this DA. Got this thing from uh, Harbor Freight Drill Master. Yeah, this is a Harbor Freight brand. Um, works pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna use first. I put on this uh, pad I also got from Harbor Freight. This is the cutting one. And then um, 
I'm gonna use what I use is this these three end products. So this is the uh, rubbing rubbing compound, and then I got the machine polish, and then I got the ultra fine machine polish. So I'm gonna go in that order, one, two, and three. So I'm gonna start with this one first. So I'm gonna go on to the next step, which will be using the finishing foam. This I'm gonna use with the uh, machine polish. This is number two of the three M. And um, to get this off, this compound that I just used, um, this is what I use uh, from Chemical Guys. Um, works pretty good. Um, I suggest going and buying it. I got this one on Amazon. Um, I could put the link in the description. You guys can go buy it. It's pretty inexpensive and works really good so one but it looks like I wiped it all down and as you can see here it's still pretty dull um, you can still see the sand marks from the sandpaper this one and this one is a lot shinier um, so it looks like I still have to continue here with uh, the rubbing compound this is the speed that I have it on generally um, when I'm doing the rubbing compound and also I keep it right in the middle I keep the pressure right in the middle of the pad. You go on these edges here, on the edges, um, you're just gonna cut into your clear coat and it's not gonna be good. So try to keep it um, firm pressure, straight down. Don't turn it on its side like this. Do that, you're gonna be cutting into it and it's not gonna look good. So keep it flat, steady pressure, and keep moving. Go with number two now. Um, be pretty gracious with the stuff on here. Don't, don't be, uh, don't skip out on this because uh, if this is not wet here, it's dry. You will also burn through your clear. So make sure you put enough on here. Don't be a cheap ass. It'll cost you in the long run. I think it's getting there um, but I can still see some like micro scratches um, some worse than others so uh, let me show you right here so you can kind of see those micro scratches right there I need to get those out before I go to the next step this is pretty dull here so I still have to do some of that um, just keep working it be patient keep moving so now I'm gonna move to the next step. Um, I just bought this Torque DA buffer. Works great. Um, it's actually uh, less aggressive than um, this big DA over here. And I got it in a kit, came with these pads. This is the most aggressive second, then this is the finish. Also came with um, their product here. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna, I use this um, after I get done with doing all that. I'm gonna go through and um, use the medium pad here, and then I'm gonna use this finish pad. Um, I don't believe I need to use this right now for this one. Um, and I'm gonna use, first I will use this green one. They said it's for uh, eliminate heavy paint defects and imperfections. So I think, um, I think I'll use this one on um, 
the white one and then I'm gonna use this finish one this is a finish um, it says uh, deepest level of shine clarity and depth I'm gonna use that for this last one and then um, after we get done with this it should look pretty glassy finish this is the softest pad they got and this is the finest compound they got so So that's all I got today. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice considering what it was. Um, go ahead and uh, comment if you have any questions about the product I use or any other questions. Um, and subscribe to the channel to see more. Um, we'll be doing um, that purple flake candy uh, fender probably tomorrow or something like that. So if you are interested in watching that. Um, just subscribe so you know when it's coming out.